I've been thinking about this lately. I think I'm ready. I hope you are too. Will you marry me? Seriously? Where's the gem? It doesn't even have a diamond. Hello everyone, I'm Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Labby Edovids. Learning appreciation by innovation. Banking on the ATMs of speech writing. Where we talk about tips and techniques on how to enhance your pen to podium skill. On the previous episode, we were able to talk about the importance of using trivia. And for today's episode, we will be talking about memory gems. Memory gems, G, like gold, always precious and always longed for. E, like emerald, a sprinkle of greens from memory gems gives you an elegant and fresh new twist. M, like mystic quartz, always inviting, always mysteriously interesting. Memory gems can be famous quotes, taglines, or even Bible verses, or anything that will surely make your audience remember your speech. Taking it from the word gem, a gem is precious and highly valued. Such characteristics can be really hard to forget. You cannot just say no to a precious gem, right? Seriously? Oh, yeah. Almost everyone must stand up before a crowd and make a speech. And the common denominator for those who succeed in speech delivery is four. A well thought and well planned composition is that one thing that changes a speech from being good to great. From being so so to extraordinary. From being weak, unimpressive, and unsuccessful to being compelling, enthralling, and captivating. An example is the letter X, as in X out negatives. Be a positive thinker. Positive thinking means seeing a butterfly in a caterpillar. For now, what you see is a caterpillar. But in no time, that caterpillar will soon metamorphose into a beautiful butterfly. That was just a powerful speech. A memory gem that was made more powerful with the use of analogy. Now you see an ultimate combo. Memory gems can also be twisted and turned into a punchline. Example is the famous line by Voltaire, popularized in the movie Spider-Man. With great power comes great responsibility. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I didn't know Spider-Man's a rocker. Putting a twist would sound like with great power comes the electric bill. <laughs> you got that right. But for me, with great power comes a great perfume. In this episode, I will not be giving more examples as I want to challenge you to comment down below a memory gem that I will surely remember and will catch my attention. It's like making memories together. So that's it for today. Once again, I'm Ben and I'll see you again on the next episode.